I ended up studying at Pratt Institute. I had really great professors. Uh, my drawing professor in particular, he was, I studied illustration, but he, he was, he was an illustrator, but he was a really incredible draftsman. And his name was Dave Pasolaka. Uh, he was probably one of my most influential professors while I was there. Mm -hmm. um, as far as, you know, being creative and, and uh, I think fueling the passion of, of, um, you know, the fire for, for creating art uh, for his students. He was very inspirational. Um, I had uh, other really great um, instructors as well, Pete Fiore and, and uh, Jerry Contreras and a number of others. But beyond my professors, I, that list of influential artists, I think, is pretty long. You mm. know, I mean, Ernie Barnes was certainly one. Okay. I often draw a blank because it's such a... It is it's such a, a so many different because artists. It, you know, there's N.C. Wyeth, there's, oh. there's uh, Charles White, um, Egon Sheila, there's uh, Gustav Klimt, and Norman Rockwell, uh, Dean Cornwell. I mean, it's it. There are illustrators and painters, and I think you know during the early 1900s, 1900s, um, and a bit after, there are a number of artists who really kind of blurred the line of illustration and fine art because a lot of them were traditional. Well, they were all traditional painters pretty much. Right. Um, there wasn't, there was no digital medium <laughs> <laughs> at that point. Right. Um, so they, a number of them had to be, you know, kind of classically trained as, as painters. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of where I like to, um, you know, hang my hat is, it's kind of this, this, um, confluence of of narrative art and and fine art um painting so yes. that, that's what i really like i like craftsmanship and i really love storytelling well one look at any of the pieces you've produced definitely shows off your craftsmanship is superb let me just say it's fantastic i appreciate that mm -hmm.